And it really didn't come to my knowledge until I started looking for an for client for property about about what January, February is when this housing shortage really took its I mean we we've had some good increasing rents over the last couple of years, but then I started looking at the lack of supply. This is a chart, I know it may be hard to read, but come back and visit it because this is uh, this took us a couple of days of research. And what I'm what what I'm showing you here is different parts of the city as a cross section of th typical areas from north to south, all the way from the northern suburbs to the southern suburbs, all the way out to where I live, like Travis area, all the way out to the uh, the, the 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 east side where there's more of more just prairie land. But look at these look at these um, rents here. Uh, these are these are your averages. Right now, for Cedar Park is an area that I that that's a suburb of North Austin, uh, Avery Ranch, one of my areas. I, I own several investment properties. Now, I'm I'm looking across here, and we're seeing. And we also compared this to 2007, and so if you look uh, at the the chart here, where we have average uh, 2012 rents is 1731, and average. Uh, 2007 rents were 1440. One of the things I want to encourage you, and I'm going to encourage my current clients and I'm encouraging Rick and Mike that a lot of people are renewing their leases and not saying with Rick's firm but not really looking at this and realizing that we've had a potentially 15 or 20 percent increase in rents and it's helped and when they try to go to sell it especially if they're selling it to another investor it can kind of hurt their ability to get top dollar for it so we want we want it, we want people to be getting market rents but if we look at this the typical um, what we were getting in Avery Ranch for a 2,000 square foot home for so many years was 1395, 1395, 1395, 1395. Now we're looking at between 6, 17 and 8, you know 17, 1800, up 20% from 2007. You look down this chart and you'll see Cedar Park uh, North is 15%. Here's another interesting uh, figure. Look at the days on the market: 12 days, 15 days, 13 days, 14 days. Avery Ranch, my my little poster child, ten days average time on the market. Look at our months of supply over here: one point three five, one point one. Oh gosh, I hate when it does that. Um, I have to get a better cursor here. Um, so, anyways, let's go back in here. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and read up in in South Austin. We have, which is another area, we have a point five five month supply. What's a healthy month of supply for, for rentals? Two months? You're looking at two to three months. Okay. Two, to, two to three months supply would be a healthy supply for a landlord-tenant type of ratio. Well, the bottom line, the tenants don't have any advantage right now. They used to be able to, if you raise the rent 50 bucks, they'd move. Now they're, they're smarter than us in a lot of ways. They, they realize if you raise it $125, it's still going to be below what they're paying now. So, and then the cost of the move and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the highest area of, and I told I've told my clients for all this time, the highest area down here towards the bottom is Lake Travis, which is where we're at right now, has had the highest increase over 2007, 30 percent increase in rents. You know, I'm out here. I told them, I said, hey, the the the, the hospital's coming in. We need people. They don't have rentals out here like they need them. They don't really even have that many apartments. Buy out here. It's a higher demographic, it's the highest demographic in the state of Texas. But 